Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here, and today we're playing Star Maid. This is episode number 32. <laughs> uh, in today's episode, we're going to be working on a, on a new uh, ship idea that I had. Um, it's about time to retire this old bad boy. He's pretty beat up, and, uh, you know, I mean, it, it works okay still. It, it uh, you know, works for our purposes, but I think we can do much better. So, uh, we want to uh, design a new ship that's capable of, uh, of mining here. Now, uh, notice how I phrased that. Not a mining ship necessarily, but one that's capable of mining for us. And, and we'll get into that more um, in depth in a moment. Let's talk about the last episode. So last time, uh, we built these storage tanks, um, which uh, I haven't really utilized. This one has, like, power or something capacitors in it, I think. Maybe? I don't remember. Yeah, power caps in it. Um, which I added a bunch more power caps. We're up to 2.3 million power um, available to us and uh, 300,000 per second. Um, I did have to come up with a way to arrange the power, uh, uh, these things, reactor modules, um, because they won't work properly in the tanks. Uh, just the way the power reactors work, they, they work better in lines than in a big mass like, uh, like we would fill the tank with. Um, I don't necessarily need to have the capacitors here, but, uh, once we start adding shields, they'll be invaluable, so we want that. Um, I've, I've redesigned this area a little bit, I, I can't remember, I think I did that in the last episode though, so, uh, so you guys may be familiar with this, um, with the way this works, and, and, uh, there is some idea behind this going forward, so, um, I added this little branch of the tunnel, there's gonna be a door right here, and actually we're missing a couple blocks, so let's go ahead and place those, um, I need wedges as such here and here. Um, and that's going to be uh, like a doorway, like I said. And this is going to lead us down this way into, this is where our factories are going to be. Um, which we may work on factories today. Uh, we may not. Um, just time depending and uh, resource depending as well. Um, so, let's see. What else uh, did I want to talk about? So last episode, um, I kind of issued a call to arms, uh, so to speak, asking people uh, to help me with this pirate issue I'm having. You know, I, I really wanted to test the Queen Bee here against uh, a drove of pirates and see how the, uh, the drones that we have, uh, these guys, the Hornet drones, see how they're going to perform against the default pirates, the Izanth and stuff. Um, and I got a lot of good feedback. Uh, so, so the the issue I'm having um, is that I can when I attack a pirate station, uh, the the waves of Izanth never come, even though they're summoned by the pirate stations. I had a lot of good suggestions. Most of them came through Reddit, um, which is awesome. Uh, I've been posting my videos on Reddit, and I feel like that's been helping uh, get me some exposure. And I, I uh, definitely appreciate um, all of you viewers who are coming from Reddit <laughs> for me. So. Um, that's awesome, uh, you know, make sure you upvote that post, uh, uh, if you like the video, um, you know, so that, uh, more people can come and enjoy my videos as well. Um, but anyway, the, the, the kind of comments that I've been, that I got were that, uh, lens cap, check and make sure your pirates are assigned. Um, they are, they are for sure. Um, if we go to our inventory and catalog, we can do admin. Um, if we look at any of these Izents, uh, let's see, where is it? Um... There are no AI waves, but I don't think that matters. Um, it, it doesn't... I didn't get any comments about this AI wave manager, uh, which is what I specifically asked for, but that's okay. Um, I didn't get any of that. Um, it is the permissions right here. So, see how these are checked enemy usable. So, they should, should be spawning, uh, right, because the enemies can use them. Um, I did disable some of them, like the Queen Bee, for example. I don't want pirate Queen Bees flying around. That's that's crazy. <laughs> uh, so the Izents are all enemy usable. That's definitely true. Um, one thing I did note, and I don't have footage of this, um, and I think this is what my problem is. Um, a lot of people, uh, or at least uh, two or three people were saying, and I found this in several other places as well online, that the pirates are are spawning. They are actually spawning, 
but they're outside of the AI's range, um, so they're not actually flying to me. Uh, so they will, in short, uh, they spawn in, but too far away to be able to be detected by my radar, um, but also uh, too far away for them to detect me. So they just spawn in far away and hang out. Uh, which is what I found to be the case. Um, when I uh, when I flew back um, in the B to uh, to the pirate station, we took over a couple episodes ago. The Alpha. Um, I went to go salvage because we installed these salvage cannons right in her nose. Um, I went to go salvage the Hornet drones uh, for parts so we could build new drones, and I found them. I found pirates um, in the outskirts of that. So I think that's exactly what's happening. Is that the uh, the pirates are spawning in, they're just too far away to be um, to be detected. So that's got to be it. That's got to be the answer to our problem. So uh, it sounds like pirates are going to need an overhaul um, in the game. It's not really anything that I think um, that I can affect. I could be wrong, though. Uh, I've been wrong before, and it, I'm sure it will happen again. Um, if you guys know of a way to fix that, I would love to be able to fix it. Um, if not, uh, you know, if I if it's not something that I can that I can do to fix, um, I guess we're gonna have to wait on a patch. Um, but that is a bug, so make sure we report that bug. Um, and I have uh, I've reported it too. I've submitted a bug report too. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, that the devs know, so that you know they can't fix it if they don't know it's a problem. Um, what are we going to do about this? There's going to be a wall in front of these things. But I want to get the most out of my power uh, sources as possible. So I guess... Uh, yeah, we should remove these blocks and put the right kind of blocks. Just like that. And we'll do that here too. Can I fit in? Oh, I can. Yeah. All right, and I don't have footage of those pirates. I wish I had uh, thought to fly out and get some. Maybe we'll do that later in the episode uh, after we build our ship. Uh, we can maybe test it or something. Um, but without further ado, let's start on today's project. So for we're going to use our shipyards. I have not built a ship out of the shipyard yet, so this will be fun for us. Um, you know, something new and exciting and, I guess, and, uh, and cool. By the way, um, I want to tell you before we actually, <laughs> before we dive into that, one more aside, uh, I want to tell you kind of the idea that I had for this station. Um, and this kind of goes along with the ship we're building today. And the queen bee and whatnot. Um, so we've got this giant shipyard here on the side, uh, for building large ships. But I thought it would also be cool to have a smaller shipyard down at the very bottom. Maybe like this big that takes up maybe maybe like these two indentions here from here down. Uh, maybe make that a shipyard as well. Maybe just straight up, you know, like instead of this curvy crap that we've got going on. Maybe just straight. And uh, that's a smaller shipyard where we can build smaller ships and drones and... That kind of crap uh, out of. I think that'd be cool. Okay, that said, let's uh, let's go ahead and start on today's uh, today's project. So um, we don't have factories and we don't have resources for factories because in the last episode, if you remember, the very last thing I did was I went to move my factories, but I forgot to empty them. So I deleted all of my resources. That's why we want to build this new. Uh, mining ship today. So we're going to place order. We're going to create new design. We're going to call this... Oh my gosh, I had not even thought of a name for it. Uh, in theory, this is going to be the last ship I ever need to build, but I don't think it's going to effectively be that because I like building ships. Um, we're going to call this one... We're just gonna call it modular one because I don't uh, I don't have a good name for it yet. Modular one. Okay, uh, and guys, uh, if you have a good idea for names uh, for these for this ship, after you see it, you know, take a look at it first. Let me know what you think. Tell me what kind of uh, what it looks like, and and uh, we'll come up with a name for it. All right, so let's uh, take this hallway out to our ship core. We'll hop in our core so that we get 
And actually, I think we have access to creative mode without being in the core, but in build mode, we can fly around faster and, and, uh, and stuff. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with. Let's hop in this. Flight mode, build mode. Ba bam <laughs> Creative mode! Um, the first thing I want to do in this ship is build our cockpit, right? I, I usually start uh, with like a frame and whatnot, but I think we're going to do this one backwards. It's going to be a little bit smaller of a ship. It's actually going to feel like a fighter. Um, more like a fighter than like, uh, than like anything else. And I have an idea for the shape I want this. I haven't built it. I haven't done any mock-ups or anything. So we're doing this all in real time, making it up as we go along. You know how lens cap, how we like to do on this channel. So here we go. Took a drink of my monster there. Um, okay, we want to use... Uh, let's, let's get some black standard... Let's get some, uh, let's see, what colors do we want it to be? I think red would be cool, and red standard. Red and black, and we definitely need the white standard for skulls. Uh, I'm going to need power reactors and capacitors. Uh, let's see, gravity, no, we're not going to put gravity on it. It's going to be too small. Rail speed controller. Hmm, I've never played with those. Mass enhancers. We may need mass enhancers. Oh, we definitely want some rails. Logic, maybe? I don't... Uh, glass. Glass doors. Uh, let's... Plex door, and then we want something for windows. Not glass, I want to use white crystal. Okay, so we got that under control. So, let's think. Where's our... This is... This one is the black hull, and this is the black standard. Let's switch them. So I got hull standard, hull standard, so I don't forget. Um, we're going to use this as a seat. So, let's use a red, actually, for the interior. This, this, this. Uh, okay, whoops, whoops, we need that. Uh, we're going to need a chair. So, my thought here was basically like, you know, fighter, right? You sit here. There's the, uh, there's the core. Piece of cake. Uh, oh, we're going to need a camera... We'll replace the rails with that, because we're not doing rails for a while. Um, let's put our black hull in here. because uh, And basically anything you can't see is going to be um, removed. So that's where our camera's going to be from. We're going to have a cockpit view. I think that'll be neat. Uh, okay, where are... Here's blast doors, and they're going to go roughly like that. Um... Maybe we open it up a little bit bigger to be like that. We're going to have our com systems computers um, like here and, and here to the sides. All right, and glass wedge there or a crystal, you know, whatever. Okay, let's uh, let's do power next because we're gonna need power. Um, I thought about putting power right here, so we're gonna do that. We want uh, let's do fifteen. Oh, I hit the wrong axis. I've been uh, building on the station, and this axis on the station is weird. Um, fifteen, and we'll do it like that. That'll be cool. Is that about the size we want? Maybe bigger. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, so, next, we kind of want to build a nose shape. And our nose, let's see, is going to come to here. So, let's do black standard. And actually, let's set some symmetry while we're at it. Not that one. This one. The uh, the station, like if I'm in build mode in the station, it's like sideways to this. And so it's got me all 
all discombobulated and confuzzled, because that's uh, <laughs> what I've been building on mostly. No, lens cap, you're deleting the wrong blocks constantly. Okay, much better. Now, I don't know, I hadn't thought about colors, really, when, when, uh, yet on this, so I don't know if this is going to be, like, final colors. So like a nose, maybe not that long, maybe to there. Okay. All right, and then uh, we're gonna need some more power. Let's put caps in. And these can be removed as well. Caps in, and then we're going to do some more reactors. Let's put them, like, how much power does that give us? We can go underneath as well and get some more uh, some depth to the ship. And then we might put a cannon. Yeah, we should. We definitely are going to need a gun. Let's put, <clears throat> excuse me, let's put, uh, let's just do a a regular cannon. So we definitely need a cannon computer and cannon barrels. So we'll put our cannon computer here. <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna have to unset this because we only want one cannon computer. And we'll need to put our barrels along the, like this. We'll put them all the way out. Maybe they'll stick out in front a little bit. And there we go. Like that. Yeah, that'll be okay. All right. And then this block uh, is going to have to be a, let's see, a, like a, like one of these. Like that. How's that? Maybe. Maybe. Um, this one, we definitely are going to need these, maybe to there, yep, okay, I'm, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh, my voice is not working this morning, okay, let's work on this a little bit, I'm going to streamline, it's, it's almost going to look a little X-Wing fighter without the X part, um, I'm going to work on this and kind of put it together and let's see what we come up with. So here's what I came up with. I still don't have a name for. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, if you if you come up with something creative and neat. Um, I like the way the jump drives show on the sides. I'll show you the concept in a second. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at the little bit of detail work that I did. Fly around real slow. Let's turn off the symmetry so we can get a good look at the ship. Kind of like a small fighter. You know, that's the idea behind it. Just a small fighter going on. Um, got some thrust like crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about the thrusters here, um, but it, I think it looks cool. She looks fast. So this is a door you can close. Um, there are, if we open this, we can go in here. There are six chests, six storage units. Um, we might even... Replace these just with, uh, you know what? We could leave the lights like that. I don't know. Maybe like, do we need lights in here? What do you think? Let me know. Do we need a light? Let's put in one light. We're going to do red because that's our theme. Uh, red and black. Ominous. Danger zone, right? Okay, so uh, she's like a small fighter. Now, I have... Uh, okay, so let's talk about how uh, the, the idea behind the ship. There's this big hole in the bottom. And the way that she's going to work um, is uh, she has attachable modules, right? Modular, right? That's what we named it. So you can put one on the left and one on the right on these little arm things. And... 
Honestly, I'm kind of having second thoughts about these modules. Maybe I'll just make them permanent um, and just have an attachable module that goes on the bottom. So what I'm thinking is she kind of uh, docks, or rather the modules dock to her, but um, she kind of docks into her modules. Um, the first one we're going to build is a salvage gun. And uh, so she docks into that, which fits on the bottom of the hole, like super tight. Um, there's a post that comes up through here that links to a wireless module um, so that if we're sitting in our cockpit, um, let's let's do this. So now we're, we're sitting in the cockpit right on this little uh, on the seat. So there'll be a wireless module there so we can activate this one and link it to the other one to the one on the uh, the thing right the docked entity. Uh, the salvage gun in this case. Um, if we go back into the core into flight mode, uh, that's our view, right? Isn't that cool? There is a, a lower module remote. So the lower module remote then um, obviously controls the, the wireless unit which controls the, in this case, salvage beam. Now we can swap that out with whatever we want, right? If we want to um, optimize her for combat, we maybe we put shields and missiles. Or if we want to optimize her for stealth, maybe we put a stealth drive in it. You know what I'm saying? So like there, there are all kinds of options um, for this ship because she's modular. That's the whole point. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the concept. Uh, maybe we call her Black Beauty, <laughs> uh, just as a thought, but let me know if you guys think of a cooler name. That's, uh, you know, um, for the sides here, I had considered making them modular as well for like weapons modules, right? So we put maybe beams or missiles or that kind of stuff. Um, I do have spots in the cockpit available. Let's see, we're not in build mode anymore, but uh, here and here that we can link wireless modules to as well uh, that would let us control the left and the right guns. Um, I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to, but I put a rail docker here so we can dock just static modules, so if we want more shields. Um, and I put a turret thing here if we want to dock turrets, which I think that's a cool idea. And then uh, this is how she's going to dock is from the top. So we'll have to put a top docking uh, module inside our dock there uh, or our hangar there. Um, thrusters are just lava. I felt like it looked good. So that's that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's our ship. Um, let me know what you think. Let's, uh, let's take her for a test run real quick. Now, I believe you can do that with the... Let's see, am I in build mode? No. Um, I believe you can do that with the... Gosh, I am lost for words today. I cannot think of the words I want. Shipyard. That's what I wanted. So I think you can do a test drive in the shipyards. Um, what is... Let's fix this. Because that's wrong. That needs to be one of those. No. One of those. No. One of those. Okay. Uh, now you can test drive. Let's see if we figure out how to do it. Test out design. There we go. That's all we got to do. Okay. So now it teleports us. To a personal sector. And so now we can fly into our ship. Uh, I'm not sure how to get back. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Now I think you can like spawn in pirates or something. I'm not sure. Let's sit down. Shut the door. Get in the ship core. Okay, we're in flight mode. This red light, I'm not sure how I feel about the red. 
She's fairly quick. She could be quicker. So maybe we do, um, do not put the turret things on the side and we just allow for more weapons modules or something. Uh, or shields in them, because I don't have any shields. And we need more thrust as well. Aha! There's a red. Okay, I'm going to need a different computer, because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Alright, how do we spawn in pirates from this? Whoa, we're like spinning out of control. I thought there was a way to spawn in pirates. I might have to play with this some. Let's see if we can't figure it out. Well, actually, we're not... We're not ready to spawn in pirates, so... How's our gun? It does fire a few blasts. Um, the way I did the gun was like four parts or something, so there's a little bit of penetration there. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's what we've got going on there. Okay, now, how do we return... How fast is this jump module charge? Oh, look at that power drain, though. Hmm. Okay, we definitely are going to need some more power. So, it looks like uh, our side modules... Well, that's okay. That's what this test thing is for. So, it looks like our, uh, our side modules are going to have to be permanent, which is fine. That works out fine. Uh, I have an idea for the shape I want of them. So, um, all right. Well, let's add those on. Um, I'll figure out how to get out of this test mode, because I have no idea. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we'll add on the side modules. And, yep, let's do it. I have done it! <laughs> so we've got some pods on the ends of these arms. And, let's see, how do we like the way they join? Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. I like it pretty well. Check it out from the back. That looks awesome. Those engines, oh man, I like it. Okay, um, so we put some pods on the sides. Now, these each have missiles in them. I've got four missiles of five each. Um, they're cluster missiles. Um, they are red, so I've got a bunch of red cluster missiles as well now. Um, so there we have it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have a little bit of detailing I still could uh, could do, uh, but I'm happy with it for now. Um, we've got a fair amount of power. Somehow we ended up with two million power. Um, I'm not quite sure how I managed that, but that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Forty-six thousand power per second. Hopefully that's enough. And we still don't even have our uh, our salvage cannon on the bottom, so we need to build that module, but we'll have to save that for next episode, because we're pretty much out of time. Um, I do want to really quick run back in uh, to the test area. Um, <clears throat> and this episode will just have to run a little long. Uh, but I do want to run back into the test area and make sure that she can shoot missiles, that she's still fast, you know, all that stuff. Uh, make sure that the... That shouldn't be like that. Let's turn off creative mode so we can fix our mistakes. There. Easy. Problem resolved. Good job, LensCap. You fixed another thing. Oh, I see. That's... Okay. Well, that'll just have to do. We're gonna have to replace this wall anyway with actual wall. Okay, let's uh, build mode. Place order. Test out design. Go! Uh, by the way, uh, because last episode, or last episode, no, last clip, I had no idea how to get back. You said escape, there's exit test sector. There it is. In case you were wondering, and in case you couldn't find it, because I sure as heck, uh, had issues there. Um, there are exposed systems here. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but if it ends up that I don't like that, I can replace that with black, or red, or whatever. I like... Man, the blue... Okay, so the ice crystals for intakes is really cliche, and everybody does it, but God, it looks so good. <laughs> no, that's why everybody does it, because it looks so good. Okay, let's uh, let's hop in our cockpit. Um, I did change the spine on the back. Oh, oh I meant to add some wingy bits. Uh, I might throw some wingy bits up on the top. 
I think that would look cool. Maybe even off the back of the thrusters. Anyway, we'll f we'll play with that later when we actually get into our final. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I coughed so hard my mouse moved. Uh, <laughs> when we finally get into our uh, uh, final like design and and stuff. Okay, let's sit down. Enter ship core. Build mode. No, we want flight mode. Um, I did consider adding another camera because this view kind of sucks. So let's check out. Oh, uh, let's let's rearrange these a little bit. We'll put our jump drive here, our cannon here, and our missiles here. Um, this is no data, so that's something we're gonna have to consider. How's the cannon? It still shoots, but now it's white. Okay. How the missiles? I can shoot all my missiles, and I believe they all fire. I did not see a power failure thing. So, uh, but I think I used all of my energy for that. Let's test it one more time. No, okay, so I had about a quarter left. Let's charge a jump drive. That's much better on power. Um, we do have some shields now if we hit build mode. Um, we've got 18,000 shields at 506 per second, which is not a ton, but she's a pretty small fighter, so um, that should be good enough to take on Ice Ants, at least. Um, this one gray spine here, I, I like it, though. That's all right. I'm okay with that. Um, do I need that to be two blocks? Yeah, just for convenience, that'll work. Okay, uh, seems good. Uh, you know, she passed all my tests that I had. Um, it looks pretty good so far. Next episode, we'll have to build some under modules. Um, we'll start with salvage and work our way up from there. I have a cool idea for a... Uh, you know, I was going to make an underneath module for a warp drive, but I in integrated it into the ship, so I guess uh, that's not going to be the case. I do like um, this. I like that, the little animation. I think that's awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is episode 32. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you next time. Stay tuned.